All right, so the good old question about how many frames per second or how many hertz can the human eye see? This is a long-standing question and no one seems to be able to answer it. And the reason is there is no black and white answer to this, unfortunately, because you have different eyes than I do, and that's just the way it is. You might have super eagle eyes, and I might not. So I might see only up to 60 hertz, and you might see, no joke, up to 500 hertz, because apparently some people can see 500 hertz. And a hertz, basically, is a refresh rate, and it's a number of times that the monitor, the image itself on the monitor, refreshes itself per second. So when you're looking at displays that are 144 hertz, even higher than that, of course, those displays are going to be very, very expensive. But do you need to go out and buy a display that's super expensive that has a super high refresh rate? I would say no, it's a waste of money. What, you know, what monitor should you get in the sense of hertz? Well, I'm thinking maybe 75 or 90 hertz would be enough, or maybe if you can get one 120 hertz, that would be fine as well. I myself, I am still gaming. I have three displays. They're all the same brand. So the colors are the same across the board, right? That's kind of important. But I have two verticals and I have one horizontal and that one I game on and they're all 75 hertz. And in all honesty, I don't see a difference between 60 and 75 hertz. I've seen 120 hertz displays and ones that are higher than that. And I do notice, though, that they are silkier. They're, they're I don't know, they're, they're smoother somehow. They're more responsive. And of course, if you are a professional gamer and every nanosecond counts, then that is important. But if you're not a professional gamer, no, you don't have to spend the whole boatload of money on a super, super high refresh rate monitor. That is going to be tremendously expensive. Save your money and get something that is all around decent. So, yeah. So that's kind of like my take on it. And, um, you know, I, I really don't see the point, you know, of, of spending a whole load of money on a um, d display or a bunch of displays. And if you're going multi-display, that's going to cost you extra money. So if they're all, you know, the same, which they should be really, um, you know, it's going to cost you a lot. And then maybe you should pour that money into a better video card or a better computer system. And I think that's where you should put your money instead of wasting money on, you know, thinking that you need to go out and buy, you know, a 144 hertz display. Because some people, some of your friends maybe, will try and convince you of the fact that, yeah, they can't live, they can't game without, you know, high refresh rate displays. And I suppose in a way it does depend on the games that you are playing. Because if you are, maybe you're semi-pro. Right. If you're going even semi pro, I can see, you know, if you're super competitive and you want to be on the leaderboards and, you know, that top five, top 10, maybe, maybe, but, you know, that, but, but that's it. Uh, I don't know. I don't have, I have nothing else for you. I did a video on this a while back, a couple of years ago, actually. And this article here, I will link you to this. This is, goes, goes through what I just kind of went through uh, with you. If you want a reference, you can go over here. But I did a video on this a couple of years ago, you know, kind of saying the same thing as I am now, where the human eye can really only see between 60 and 90 hertz. If you have eagle eyes, you can probably see up to 500 hertz. So those maybe are the people, you know, that are saying you need to go out and buy a super a high refresh rate display. It's those people who have super, super vision. And of course, as you get older, your vision is going to decrease. It's not going to be as acute as it once was. So there's also that to, to consider as well, your age. If you're super young and you have perfect 2020 vision, then maybe you can see a difference and you can see and perceive things, um, you know, up to uh, 500 hertz. And that's for, to give you some scope, right, of what that actually is. 500 hertz is 500 times a second that the image refreshes itself crazy. But yeah, let us know what you think. Let us know what display you have. And, um, you know, are you thinking about getting a new display? And if you are, what hertz of a display are you going to get? It's um, age old, you know, it's an age old kind of dispute that people say, you know, no, 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 60 hertz is no good. You can't get that. That's garbage. It's the garbage display. And other people say, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm saying it's fine. And I've been gaming forever, like forever, forever.